Welcome to another Simply Diagnostics video. Thanks for watching. Right, so we've just got a short video here on, on how to set up and how to use the KTS uh, inbuilt scope. Um, it's a capable little scope if you've got nothing else. It's built into the scan tool. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a tool in the box if you haven't got anything else. So basically what we've got there, we've got the laptop with the Easytronic, uh, the KTS software set up on it. We've got over here, we've got the, the KTS module itself. We'd, we're only going to be using one channel. We've just got the blue and the blue and the yellow wires in. The blue channel is the negative, is the ground channel, and the yellow is the, the one that we're looking for signals on. over onto the onto the laptop it's easy enough easy enough to do we just go over into the take a mouse over into the top right hand corner click on that oscilloscope that opens up the oscilloscope window we'll maximize that and you can see by default it's come on We've got voltage reading here, which we can tell because it says U. And we've got channel 1 and channel 2 on. We'll turn channel 2 off because we're not using it, so we're only looking at channel 1. The first thing you'll see is the datum, the zero line, is right in the middle of the screen. So the first thing I like to do is go over onto the left-hand side here and move down the baseline. So we've got the baseline above the bottom of the scope window but so we've got room to manoeuvre and then the next thing we need to do let's just get you a bit yeah then the next thing we need to do is we've got basically we've got our yellow is our data gathering line and the blue I've just I've just got our blue channel hooked up to an extension lead onto ground, onto battery ground. So the first thing we need to do is we need to do a plausibility check by putting the yellow probe onto a known good voltage, which would be the battery in our case. So that gives us our plausibility check. And then we can start looking at stuff. So we're just gonna take for this, we're just, all we're gonna do, we're gonna use our cam sensor, which is located yeah, the cam sensor is located here on the back of the rocker cover. Let me zoom out so you can see. Right, so our cam sensor is located here at the back. It's on the exhaust cam. And as you can see, I'll zoom in. It's a three wire sensor. We've got one thick wire, which is a dead giveaway. Um, that's going to be our power, our power supply and with it being signific significantly thicker than the other wires I would expect to see battery voltage on that and not 5 volts. Then we've got the red wire which is our signal line and the blue wire which should be our ground. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to have a look what's what's on each of the wires with key on, engine off. And all I'm going to do is take the yellow probe and go down each wire starting with the big thick one. So, the big thick wire. Oh, there's the crazy bloody dogs. Quiet, you bloody hounds. So, on the big thick wire, you can see we've got battery voltage. Moving along to the red wire, pin two. We've got zero volts. And moving along to the blue wire, We've also got zero volts. Now, right, so we've got to ascertain which is the signal wire and which is the ground wire. The easiest way to do that is just to unplug it. So all I'm gonna do now, I'm back probed into pin two, into the red wire. I'm going to unplug the sensor and we'll see what happens to the voltage level. And there you can see it's jumped up to five volts. So that's a bias voltage. 
so we know that that's the signal line for the cam sensor and we also know by that jumping up to 5 volts we know that the wire is okay all the way back to the ECU so we'll plug it back in and you'll see it's dropped, pulled down to ground immediately so we go on a final wire which is the third wire which is the blue wire which is the signal uh, which is the ground sorry and we can see we've got zero volts there and then what I'm going to do just to check the integrity of my ground it's only a it's only a, um, a signal ground so it doesn't have to carry any great load all I'm going to do is put my 150 milliamp test lamp to battery positive and I'm going to touch it onto the probe that's currently in pin 3 test me test light first to make sure it works and it does and all I'm going to do is touch it onto that back probe that goes into that ground circuit you can see the voltage doesn't jump up and I don't know whether you can see that in the shot actually can you see me? no right so the voltage doesn't jump up I'll just move you over to the slide, side slightly so you can see what I'm doing so there's me there's my test light and all I'm going to do is touching it onto the probe at the back and you can see the, the probe's lit up and the voltage hasn't jumped up on the scope either yeah, so we've got a good signal ground so now if we go back to the middle wire which was the red one, the signal wire at the start of the vehicle we should see a square wave on that so there's our, there's our cam signal I'll just, if you look on the on the bottom here it shows us 100 milliseconds time I'm just going to increase that so we can see a bigger signal to a total of one second on the screen and there's our cam signal so that's how you use the Bosch KTS inbuilt scope check for a cam signal it really is that simple and thanks for watching the video if you liked it don't forget to leave us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you didn't like it give us a thumbs down put in the comment section below and let's get a conversation started we've also got ways you can support the channel now if you look in the links below we've got patreon buymeacoffee.com and a direct paypal link thanks for watching and thanks for supporting the channel you're awesome